Welcome, people. This is Spiritual Warrior Magistry, Royalty, Power, and Success in Christ Jesus. These days are worse than the days of Noah, are worse than the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, and Christ said these days will be the worst, the worst, the worst before his coming. Um, wow, like, a couple of days ago, I was looking at a video um, about, like, how this professional doctor, this lady, was married to her husband for so many years, for more than 20 years, and she was poisoning his his shakes, his drinks, with Drano. How demonic, how satanic is that? This is how you know it's worse than the days of Noah. That the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Wow. The people so close to you. The people that claim that they love you. The people that you would expect to trust. Are going behind your back and poisoning you. Wow. I, this is satanic. This is demonic to the core. To the root. I'm not sure if this is like a like a fleshly action of the woman, but this is demonic. These are straight up demons. And it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know what her intentions were. Nobody knows her intentions. But the point is the guy was going to the doctor constantly, constantly. He was saying, What's what's the root of the problem? And he decided his consciousness, you know, um, decided to put a camera. You know in his house to see what's going on and he caught his own wife poisoning him wow super 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 disappointed in humanity right now and we're just seeing prophecies just coming up just unveiling before our eyes and it's it's crazy what's going on we have people robbing the elderly attacking the elderly even in broad daylight, we have people murdering in broad daylight. Wow. We could overwhelm ourselves, you know, with watching the news and all that. It's not a fear thing, it's just a self awareness thing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hear, you know I'm not here to you know, to put the news as like the number one priority over here or like to propagate it, but to have some self-awareness of what's really going on and it's increasing increasing um just the violence um just the murder between neighbors um you know increasing the adultery the sex before marriage increasing the adultery between neighbors the adultery at work Increasing, treachery, humans betraying other humans, um, the complete like disregard of God, of Jesus Christ, not willing to to care for Him at all, not willing like to be involved in His things, you know not willing to care just worried about more vanity in this world than than God himself than the word of God I remember like I was seeing a video too where this guy goes out to like um, offer people um, money um, just for them to know like a Bible verse or something like that and the results would have me super super just you know just thinking just startled just you know in shock like wow and some people running away like like even even if the person like even if they don't take the this person seriously which he is serious about it you know like he's just like wow like it's crazy so so many people running away Running, running away from the truth. Like it's crazy, 
they're so it's crazy they're so scared of the bible but they're not scared to to do their demonic stuff you know in their closed doors in their secret places how come they're not scared of that how come they're not scared of the devil like where is the fear there like there's no fear of them watching pornography but why scared to like even mention a bible verse or like not having that that knowledge like i get it if somebody doesn't doesn't know about you know about the bible but i mean wow like to a certain extent now like everybody must know a little bit of something but it's just sad like how the devil how demons blind the people they just have them trapped they have their eyes they have their spiritual eyes trapped on this world on the things of this world and not on the things of god like it just says one thing who governs more of their lives the rise of pornography to an, a super super extent we have people setting up only fans accounts we have these wicked jezebel spirits both men and women um literally um exploiting um the sexually vulnerable the people that deal with lust and to keep them in demonic strongholds demonic bondages I get it people need to make money but this is the wrong way of course this leads to to the to the open door of Jezebel the prostitute basically prostit prostitution sexual prostitution we have a lot of people now just more addicted to pornography. They can't stop. They, they're they having a, a seared conscience. Just nonstop. Dopamine. Just sex. Dopamine and sex and sex. It affects, to a certain extent, a lot of women could handle it when they're off of you know pornography but nowadays everything is going twisted we have more men just looking at women perverted stalking them you know doing things to them um in nasty ways like 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 wow we have strangers stalking other people like because all this is playing an effect it's creating also obsession between sexes just sexual obsession just obsession with everything I have discernment you can see it you can see how this becomes into a mental illness the rise of pornography it's insane it's creating sexual obsession it's creating lust it's creating a conscious seared mind who knows nowadays people are going to be raping people in daylight if this thing goes on the greed of money highly increasing inflation highly increasing people who have money get richer richer day by day the wicked get richer day by day but guess what it talks about that how the wicked will have their reward they think that they can take their money with them when they die. They're highly mistaken. They think that supposedly they could live comfortably here. Mistaken too. That a moment's notice, their soul can be taken right away from them. I'm telling you. Our souls, my soul, your soul, is not yours. The one above, Jesus Christ, can take it whenever he feels like it rich or poor it doesn't matter healthy unhealthy it doesn't matter he can take it whenever he feels like him 
So the greed of money, lack of helping people, you know, it's, it's insane. No sympathy for, no empathy for one another. If a person needs help, people keep walk, walking by. And I get it, some people don't trust the person, it's understandable. Sometimes it just takes a dollar to give. Sometimes it just takes, you know, a little bit of give. You know, out of your own heart. Obviously, you can't trust everybody. You don't know their intentions, of course. That's understandable. You know, but it's just that everything is just going the wrong way. The rise of him of homosexuality also being pushed on on public schools you know on you know they're having all these types of you know agendas on on their curriculum on teaching them about homosexuality especially on children we also have these um drag queen shows in public children attending open doors Open doors for these children. It's crazy. There's no morality in that. And we're not here, I'm not here attacking homosexuality at all. But the truth is the truth. I mean, it's just rising. It's just rising. Um, also, just people not talking to one another. People just on their phones all the time, just looking at vanity looking at garbage all the time you can see it everywhere just on their phones on their phones soulless lifeless spiritually dead the devil of this world demons of this world have blinded them so much so much and it's time who's, who's, who's ever looking at this video who hasn't been awakened yet and those who need more spiritual knowledge or people that need to go out there and spread some news or, you know, something to tell them about this. You know, like, they're so busy. Wa wa we're watching garbage. Literally, just vanity. Things that don't really matter, that don't help your spirit or your soul. Just constant entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Entertainment on what? On garbage. I'm telling you, like, the vulgar, the profanity music that's rising in hip hop. Wow. The disrespect of, of Christ in these, in, in these types of music on the rise just rebellious music causes you to rebel showing nothing but violence propagating nothing but violence and sex and money the, just the love of money the love of pleasures completely satanic completely demonic also the propaganda of alcohol alcohol on the rise it's like Pretty much all people do is on the weekends go drink, go to the bars. Worse than Noah's days, worse than Sodom and Gomorrah's days. Literally, over drinking themselves for what? At the end of the day, all their cash is gone on what? On booze, on alcohol. Literally opening the doors to, to the enemy. Having supposedly fun is not fun. Their soul, your soul is on the line. Spirit is on the line. It's not fun. It's not. We're going to have a, a society full of drunkards. We're going to have a society full of, you know, people drinking. There's already a, a video released in the United States in a city where this driver literally almost 
literally killed a family and other people involved. A deadly car crash, supposedly being drunk. And who knows, there's billions out there drinking and driving, drinking and driving and killing innocent people that don't deserve to die. Are, is, is that where, where we're going? Worse than the days of our ancestors. Worse than the days of our forefathers. That's where it's going. Super worse. So much pride out here too. So much pride. So much pride over the Bible. So much pride over Jesus Christ. Like, oh, I, I don't need him. Like, oh, I, I, I don't need a read or something like that. I don't need to read the Bible. You're highly mistaken. We're all highly mistaken. And we can think that this stuff doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's going gonna, it's gonna to eventually get to a person when, when they're hurt or when something happens to them. Or when they see um, um, literally um, society before their eyes. Not just in the news. But literally when something's directly happening to them. That's when they're, they're going to act or take notice. That these days are evil. Evil, 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 evil. I'm telling you. So much rebellion too. Rebellion against authority. So much. Oh, they don't want cops. Come on now. The cops are for the wicked, are for the people, are for the criminals, for the people that want to do harm. I'm telling you. Also, the rise of video games for the children. An indoctrination to violence. A gateway, an open door to their eyes, to their heart of violence, gun violence. I'm telling you, nowadays you ask a, a, a kid what's their favorite thing to do is play video games all day. Play shooting games, play Fortnite, play Call of Duty. Just nothing but violence, violence. And I'm not saying these all these children are going to go ahead and go in a shooting rampage. That's not what I'm saying. Some people, you know, don't have that type of mentality. They just like playing the games. Which, you know, they have, you know, good intentions and good willpower. But it opens... A door of violence, of murder, of lack of self-control. It's a spirit of murder, a spirit of violence. Going through their eyes, going through their heart. It's vanity, it's a waste of time. It's destroying your the, the soul and the spirit. No way, shape, or form is it helping you out spiritually. We have more people just watching TV just stuck on TV. TV all day, TV all day, TV all day. In the morning, afternoon, night, just TV, just TV, just TV. We're not saying people can't enjoy, you know, a good, you know, thing on TV. But what what are we watching? What's coming out from there? And I I'm not here to judge people. You can see through that in my other videos the testimonies of things I used to watch and where I came from. I'm not here claiming innocence. It's just that the days are evil. We have now occultic games. We have now satanic games for children, for kids. The devil is no longer hiding. He's coming out in plain sight. He's attacking you face to face and it's a disrespect in a way because he's saying look look what I'm doing to your children look what I'm doing to you and you're not doing anything about it he's calling you out he's calling you out spiritually he's attacking you not just spiritually now but face to face body to body in the physical realm what are you going to do about it this is how he has a strong demonic grip on us whether through his demons or through himself 
a strong grip if you're not willing to do anything about it. A strong demonic grip. A satanic stronghold. How are you going to let the devil, you know, do this to you? But this is how you can tell. Worse than the days of Noah. Worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Just like Christ said, it would be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah than these days in the coming of the Son of Man. And we're so blinded. We're so heavily blinded. These are just a few things. I hope people don't take this the wrong way. This video is not here to judge, but to enlighten people spiritually for eyes you know, to see spiritually and to come to the knowledge that the days are evil and they're only going to keep increasing, increasing, and increasing. And we should get more to that realization because this is reality. And there's, there's only one hope. And that hope is Christ. I mean, all this, it's leading, it's leading to the Antichrist spirit. It's, it's, a, it's already here. But it, it's going to lead to the mark of the beast. So many of these minds are going to be seared to evil. Just reprobate to evil. Just normalizing evil for good and good bad in this society that's what it's coming down to the mark of the beast the antichrist a complete worship of satan and demons and these demonic satanic principalities that exist it's coming to that worship it's time to wake up it's time I hope you guys like the video, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts down below, and I hope this video provides some type of hope, some type of realization of what's really going on, and to give you some motivation to do something about it, and to spread this message, message all over the world, so people can know, so people can wake up. To the reality of the truth and that truth is christ jesus he's coming back he's coming back real soon and we all need to get it together we all need to see what's happening and stand up against this stuff it's completely evil